New York Mets traded Guardo Escobar to the Los Angeles Angels for right-hand pitcher London Marex and Coleman Crow in cash and considerations. The right here, Guardo Escobar, he was the odd man out over there with the New York Mets with break, Brett Beatty coming up in mid-April on the year, and he's pretty much been a bench and backup guy for this New York Met team. And then in the final year of his contract, so on the season for Escobar, it wasn't a good one anyway. Four home runs, 16 RBIs. Two stolen bases, 15 runs scored at 236 average and a 286 on base. But right now, this Angel team, a lot of injuries. Anthony Rendon on the injured list once again. Gio Urshela, he's out for the season. And Escobar at least could play some second, third, and first base. And they don't need him to be a big time player, is this Angel team. Obviously, with their main hand is in Shohei Atani, Mike Trout, Oniak, and also Hunter Renfro is having a solid year. So, right now, in terms of fantasy baseball, he's still not a player. I'm going to target right now is Eduardo Escobar. Last season, the first three, four months of the year, he didn't do much. And then in August, September, he got hot finishing the year with 20 home runs and 69 RBIs. But I think his best days are behind him. Gap option and a veteran just to fit in the back end of the lineup here. I think it's a decent move for this Los Angeles Angel team. Still trying to make a push for the playoffs where the Mets have, obviously, Brett Beatty, Luis Guillorme, and even this could lead up to Ronnie Mauricio coming up. For the big club so Eduardo Escobar traded to the Los Angeles Angels and we'll see if it contribute to this Angel team and possibly help fantasy owners once again for the remainder of the 2023 season.